Hello everybody, it's the Doctor here, and today we are doing the Orc Forge from the Lord of the Rings line. It has 363 pieces, ages 8 to 14, it's set 9476. This one is apparently hard to find. We get four figures that I believe are pretty much unique to this set. We get Lurts, two Mordor Orcs. And one Uruk Hai, but the difference with the Uruk Hai is the fact that there are white hands of Sudermon printed onto the helmet piece as it looks from the box. We also get one red light brick, so a lot of very unique features in this set. On the back, it shows a little bit of where the light brick will be. The printed uruk armor pieces of course we get the anvil some metal just the windmill pretty much everything that happens in that scene down in the dark depths we also get this little picture of the lord of the rings video game i don't know if they're also going to be doing a hobbit video game we will have to see but very excited for everything on the back of this box let's go ahead and open her up build it, and then we'll check it out. start off with one of the exclusive figs every fig in this set is exclusive this is a Mordor orc even though that they are in Isengard in this set has hair for back printing on his head unique back printing on his back as well front printing looks pretty awesome his face has some unique printing on it it has some facial decorations some rings and some piercings everywhere comes with a shovel because he is digging up the urk high from the ground next we get pretty much exactly the same guy except for he is wielding a blacksmith hammer and he gets one of these hair molds the new orc hair molds this one is exclusive to this set because it is in a different color. As you can see, the Moria Orcs are the Orc Green, and then these new ones are kind of an off-tan, brownish color. So, completely exclusive head mold because it does come in a different color. Next, we get some Uruk Hai. We get one of these guys, and he is exclusive the main reason because of his unique prints all printed pieces in this set no stickers so these are printed on their extremely cool white hand the main symbol for Saruman very detailed looking Uruk High chasing down the hobbits the base to this guy is exactly the same as the Uruk High army set the only thing that differs is the fact that he has way cooler armor. And last but certainly not least, we get Lurts. This is the first uruk that Saruman creates. And this is the guy that finally ends up killing Boromir, which is a really sad moment in the Fellowship. Unique color. Unique printings, his face printing is a little bit different, and it is on a different color head. As you can see, he has a brownish look, while the other uruk have a more red coloration. He does come with back printing that gets covered up by his hair, and he does have another side to his face, which is really cool. And one thing that I was wondering is, can he wear armor? Yes, he can. 
and we do get an extra helmet if you would like to put that on instead because the hair is ever so slightly on you can push it on but it will pop off sometimes because the hair is not meant to be on with the armor but we do get an extra helmet so you could just helmet him up so let's go ahead and move on to the actual set the orc forge here's the whole set we get the windmill raising up the iron to smelt into weaponry we get a little anvil guy down here a sword rack for the heating of the swords get a guy back here digging up the urukai a lot of armor pieces that you can lay around for before the actual battle so let's go ahead and take a little bit closer look at this set first thing that we get to build is this tiny little anvil which adds a little bit of flavor to the actual forge because you can't have an forge without an anvil it would be a little bit confusing next we have a little sword rack piece it holds the swords above some flame kind of warms them up so that the blacksmith can work on them with ease pretty simple little build but we do get two more swords to add on to the actual swords we get for the minifigures and you're probably wondering why this guy is just chilling out here with the shovel. Well, he takes his shovel, he digs into the ground to reveal an urukai. Push it from the back side, and out pops the guy. He grabs him by the neck. Oh. Angry urukai, you never wake them up. On the opposite side, we do have the forge area. This heats up the ore. As you can see, there is a little bit of a light feature. You press a button on the back, and then light will shine from the flames. And then you take this piece, put it here, and warm up your pieces of metal. And right here, we have a little slide down into the actual cauldron. What you do is you take your bucket, you pour your pieces of metal down the slide into the cauldron and then take it over to the flame to be warmed up and then forged into a sword. Here at the top we have an unlikely urukai having to carry the big heavy bucket of ore or metal pieces down the slide. Pretty basic little ledge here with some torches on the back this is a printed wood piece so extremely nice that we do get one of those in this set as well there is another one on this side which is on the ladder that leads up to the top of the windmill area and at the top of course we do have the windmill which rotates to lower or raise the ore bucket I guess they use the power of wind to assist them in carrying heavy buckets not too much on the back this is the knob for the windmill there are some structural pieces to keep it a little bit more sturdy very plain on the back this is the hole in which you can assist your alerts into sleeping and then you can push them out through that way when you dig him up we do get one of those rock pieces. This is the opposite side of it to give it a little bit more underground feel. And finally, the last thing on the back is this button which turns the light on for the flames in the front. Overall, really wicked set. Pretty cool play features. We get all unique figures, mainly because the Urukai gets really awesome printed armor, which you cannot get in any other set. This is the perfect extra army builder. We get a lot of pieces in this set, as well as figures that are very unique. So you can add a little bit of dash to your army. Totally ace set here. Really love the unique white hand of Saruman printed pieces as well as the Lurts and Mordor Orcs. 
The set is pretty awesome as well. It really depicts that scene in Isengard very well. So this is a definite, definite build it. Lurtz says, build it. Perfect price per piece. Really wicked set. Cannot go wrong with this one. The best thing about this set is the unique armor. I do not believe you can get that in any other set at the moment. As well as Lurtz is in a different color. So you could have a different color Uruk High running around with your Uruk High army. Just overall wicked wicked wizard set. You also get these very unique, I'm going to call them Orc Green Cheese Slopes. Very cool as well. There is just absolutely nothing wrong with this set. So this has been another real quick doctor review. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you guys later. Also would like to mention that if you decide to pick this up from Target, which seems to be the only place that you can pick this up at the moment, you will get a poster. I believe there are different versions of this poster. I got Gollum. I believe there is also Aragorn and Legolas. Don't quote me on that. This is just the one that they sent me, but I do know this is what I got. <laughs>